guys, Twinkle Phoenix here, and welcome to the extra um, little part for Diana's route where I'm just going to talk about it. So, Diana's route um, was really quite interesting. You had a life triangle going on between her, Sager, and you. Um, Diana, of course, was completely oblivious um, to some things going on. And I loved like, the differences in the route. Like, with one ending, it was just you and Diana, and Sager is totally 100% accepting that he can never get with Diana. So he puts his feelings aside to put her happiness first. I love that. That was so sweet. And he even said he was willing to protect her and her love. Thus, he goes ahead and lets you protect Diana when at night time. Like, when they're not in the public eye, you're there protecting her. And when they're in the public eye, he's doing it. And it's just really sweet. Um, the other ending, I'm truly thankful for you and you. That one is where you both agree to take care of Diana and show your love and affection. And Diana doesn't mind having two lovers. And that's just really sweet as well. Again, you both agree that you love her so much that you're not willing to let you two arguing over her to get in the way of her happiness. So you put your differences aside and, you know, take care of Diana. Who again does deserve a lot of happiness, especially after losing three people closest to her. After getting, um, being lied to by the demon lord who technically backstabs her when they had an agreement. Diana shows a lot of compassion. And a lot of this as well, she has to put a lot of stuff aside to think of her people first. Yet she still finds time to stand up and protect you and just be there. It's really sweet. Then of course there's the bad ending with Seijiro uh, for Diana's route, which actually for me, I'm not sure that everybody would enjoy that one, but I enjoyed it. I got to see a lot of character development with Seijiro, Seijiro, whatever you want to call him, and I feel bad for him. So he goes ahead and says that he does have like holy magic and everything because he's part angel. He's like a particular type. And when he got to the Asian, he could actually show love. Again, demons don't have the ability to love. Wasn't it Diana was saying something about that? That they can't love the same way. And as soon as the parents found out, they locked him in the dungeon or down in this place and then decided to torture him. Wow. Wonderful parents Diana had there. I'm not sure who to root for. Should I... Be thankful the parents are gone or no? Because, wow, that's a bit extreme. I, I don't even know if they were doing it to protect her or not. Or maybe they thought of him as a threat? I, I don't know. I mean, they've had him with her since she was little. I, I don't understand. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be thankful the parents are gone or not, or what. But Diana finds him and obviously is internally grateful and in the bad ending, he becomes literally 100% obsessed. Which is understandable as well because of some things you say you're more possessive and controlling in the bad ending. But wow, he took it to a whole new level of controlling, he did. Wow. I'm glad he's not like that in the good or in like the true ending because that would just be creepy. And Diana obviously got controlled in that one. So, yeah. Interesting route, loved it. it. Was wow. Um, and the fact that Diana apparently cut off the demon lord's hide and presented it to everybody and then burnt it. Uh, <laughs> I guess it's only in the demon world that stuff happens. Still very interesting. I'm glad that's how her route ended. Those are the endings. They were interesting. I enjoyed it. The music was amazing. My favourite scene, though, of all that had to have been the battlefield. I love the way it was written. I loved the combination of music. And I just felt really immersed in it. Like, I was there. And I just adored that. And my favourite ending has to be the good ending. Where you and Seder are all with her and you put aside your differences to make her happy. And then it seems all that much more happier with, with you both. 
But again, the true ending and good ending are going to be my favourites for her out. The bad ending was, was very creepy. Very, very creepy. Um, But at least we got to understand Zero a lot better now that we know what he's been through. That he didn't have it easy as a when he was younger. And why he's so... Um, so loyal to Diana. Wow. And that the scar on his chest is actually a result of her parents. I... wow. Goodness. Was not expecting that. I guarantee that. I was not expecting that. That the reason for the scar was the parents. That came way out of like the third field. <laughs> way out of like the fourth field or I don't know, way out there. Was not seeing that coming. But I don't hate Sadro. Even when he killed us, I just... I don't hate him. The only time I really hated him was when he was trying to control Diana. Diana, I just didn't like the fact that he was trying to control her that way. Or trying to force her to forget something she didn't want to. When you love someone, you put their happiness first, which is something that this, um, this rope did show. That when you love someone, you'll put their happiness before your own, even if it makes you sad. And it was just so sweet. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else to say about Diana's Row either. Wow, I really enjoyed that. It did bring me to tears. I did feel a lot of emotion. I know I need to go get it in the tissue box. I, I had a problem reading one part. Um, I think it was like the first, the first time I did a read through. I was first doing the, um, the scene where Sage of course, is trying to in the garden. <laughs> And I had to like redo one part because I was crying too much out of happiness. It was like really nice. I really loved that. Gosh. And we still got the other boys arts to go and you can guarantee there's gonna be tears. There's gonna be a lot of tears. So brace yourself for more Seduce Me Too. And I don't know what you're gonna think of this last bit of the episode or not, but that was my opinion. I enjoyed it and I can't wait to see more. Michaela did a fantastic job along with everybody else that did help with this project. The voicing was excellent, the way it's written is excellent and Michaela programmed all this. And again, we do wish you a speedy recovery, Michaela. And of course, Diana is voiced by Michaela Laws. So yeah guys, see you in Seduce Me Too in another route. Bye-bye. If I can get this to close.